I've done a previous video talking about why type checking is considered a cold smell. But I just wanted to give you another very quick reason for why that is. When you are type checking, you are switching over concrete types. And when you are switching over concrete types, it means that if you would want to introduce another type in your system, and if that type also could occur in the place where you are switching, then that means you need to also switch over that type. I think Sandy Metz puts it quite well when she says that conditionals breed. If you have one conditional, you can be sure that that conditional will cause more conditionals in your code, which is why you should be wary of conditionals. But beyond conditionals, hard coding concrete types in your system makes it difficult or more difficult to change to other types in the future. So the problem is that we don't necessarily know what types we will need in the future. So if you're in a particular place in your code and you switch over types, you have an instance and you switch over the type of that instance, then you need to be absolutely sure about all of the potential possible types that that instance could be of. And of course, because systems usually undergo massive change, then it's, it's reasonable, it's completely sensible to expect that the types of that instance could possibly be different in the future. And I think that kind of sums up the problem of type checking very nicely. When you are type checking, you are coupling to concretions and not to abstractions. And coupling to concretions is less flexible. And in software, we of course want to embrace change. We know that we will often inevitably have to accept change. So we should stay flexible so we have the chance to encompass the change. So type checking is bad because we are coupling to concretions rather than abstractions. So don't ask things what they are. Simply send messages to them. Type checking is a cold smell.